The days of getting your tech fix at a computer could be numbered. According to a Canadian company that predicts sales trends, more of us will buy smartphones and portable tablet computers this year than PCs. Paul Johnson explains. Take a look at the future, handheld and mobile. The day of the tablet, the day of the smartphone has, has come. According to a new study just released by Deloitte, this year, for the first time, Canadians will buy more smartphones and tablets like the iPad than they will traditional desktop-based PCs. It's a trend that's also global, with consumers around the world expected to buy 425 million smartphones and tablets this year, more than the 400 million PCs that are projected to be sold. Our prediction this year is, uh, is that we are moving away from a, a, one, a world of computing where there's a one-size-fits-all into an increasingly, uh, increasingly diverse universe of computing devices. And we call it the iPad. Coincidentally, the news comes just as the one man most associated with high-end smart mobile devices, Apple CEO Steve Jobs, announced he's taking another leave of absence to focus on his health. The cancer survivor didn't announce a return date, sending shutters through the tech community and triggering a drop in the company's stock price. But experts believe the march toward more and better mobile devices will continue. Part of what's going on is something called Moore's Law, the principle that the power of microchips tends to double about every two years, meaning that smartphones now have the power to do all kinds of useful things. And the prediction is it's only going to get better. And there have been improvements in the technologies over the years that make the, not, not, not least of which the batteries, which make these devices viable, um, portable computers. And while mobile devices might soon surpass PCs for people wanting to surf the Internet, send pictures and log on to social networking sites, the age of the good old desktop PC isn't going the way of the VHS recorder yet. There are still a billion and a half of them out there. And for specific processing intense tasks, they'll likely be the go-to machine for years to come. The Deloitte study also found that television will be less affected by consumers' use of smart gadgets than you might think. And that TV is likely to remain the last true supermedia. Paul Johnson, Global News, Washington.